Creating and managing documents shouldn't slow your team down. And with SmartSuite, you can generate, organize, link, and even send your documents automatically from the one place. So keep watching this video to learn how you can simplify your document processes by turning your SmartSuite data into actionable docs. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. In this video, we're going to explore how SmartSuite simplifies document management and teach you how you can begin automating your docs within SmartSuite. Why does this matter? Well, because it allows you to manage your entire document process through one tool, SmartSuite. But we will also look at how you can automate docs through SmartSuite via other tools like your Google Workspace or Dropbox. Let's jump in. Here, I've created a really simple client tracker solution for the sake of this video. Within it, we've got the high level view of our clients. We've got the project types or the services that we offer, project budget, estimated time of delivery, and so on. We've got the actual projects that we'll be working on with our clients. As we can see here, we're linking our client as well as the project type. And then we've got our project docs. This is where we want to keep, manage, store, and look after the docs for each of our projects, think project proposals, plans, etc. So we're going to look at how we can design a document within SmartSuite and then set up automation so that we can have documents automatically generated when things occur within SmartSuite. From our table, we're going to select projects. Now, while we do want to manage our docs within here, because here is the projects and all the fields that hold the data on those projects, we actually want to create the document in here. So here to the far right, we've noticed we've got the project proposal files field. This is where we're going to automatically link or keep or store that document that is generated. So we'll select the drop down of our projects and then select the document designer. Here we'll notice I've already created a template which is called new document. Super simple, all we've got within it is the project proposal, the project title which is just project one example, the client and the description here. Now, we're going to take a look at how we can pull in our fields. If we move this sidebar back over, we'll notice the elements and fields that we can include in our doc. If we select elements, we've got all the basic shapes and elements you would need like images, text, and URL links. Just note, if you do add that, that'll be a clickable link within a PDF. Let me just get rid of that. Then we've got the fields that we can pull through, the data from our smart suite records in this table. So I've already pulled through the project title here, the client, which is linked from our high level client's view and the description, well, that's just the due date from this here. Now we'll notice that we've got modes. This only applies for linked records. Now, because the client Acme Co is a linked record field from our client's view, we have the ability to change how we actually view the data that's coming through. Now, I don't want it to be a table because I don't need to see that due date file field there. So I'm just gonna go single and remove this that I included. So we've got project one, we've got the client, we've got a nice little line here and a project proposal title up there. What else can we pull in? Well, we've got an introduction body of text that we'll include to share with our client. If we just pull that over, make it look all nice. This is merely example and something that I had generated through ChatGPT. I'm just gonna show you how we can quickly create a dynamic doc that we can then automate. And here I've cleaned up the document. I've included some more fields. Now, majority of this is dynamic. Within SmartSuite, we are automatically generating an intro, a scope, a delivery, an estimated delivery days. And we've also got the project manager, kickoff date, partnership, that's the client and the project title. So we've looked at quickly creating a document template. All of these fields that we see here that aren't bold, they're dynamic. They're going to change whenever a new client, a new project is generated in our solution. So let's look at actually setting that up. So we'll save the design, but first, if you want to rename it, We'll name that over here. We'll call it Project Proposal. And we'll save that design. Now, how do we automatically generate the PDF document so it becomes here? We can see if we select that, that we're only able to upload a document to link, take a photo or so on. Now it's time for the fun part, looking at how we can automatically create that document and have the dynamic fields update with the correct values. So, all right, so back into the client tracker solution. 
We'll select the solution up here and then hit automations, creating our first automation for this solution. So it'll be when a record is updated, not created. We want it so that when a project has moved to the proposal stage, or you could have it so that when a project is created, it automatically generates this document. But we'll select so that when a record in our projects table, make sure you select the right one, where the status, we'll just search for status, is equal to proposal, then we want a document to be generated. So we'll select an action here, and we'll notice that we have quite a few options here, merge records, create, generate PDF. That's what we want. So let's select this. All right, sweet, that has loaded. Now we need to select the PDF or the template, which we just created. Now you can have multiple templates, so don't think that you can only have one. Go ahead and create some for your project plans, for contract agreements, for invoices. The possibilities are pretty endless. So we'll select project proposal and then the PDF title. We can just have this as it is, but we can also pull in our data. So we'll select the client and the project title, project proposal. There we go, the title. So we just call this project proposal and separate that. Then we're generating a PDF, but we want to link it to that project proposal field, remember? So we're gonna select an action and it will be to update a record. It will be within the projects and we're going to select which field we want to update, which is the project file. Now, don't select this. We'll actually want to jump back to fields from trigger and it will be use data from action, which is this generate PDF. Select that and then pull in the exported PDF. So if we save this automation, now I will let you know, you can just select up here in the top left if you wanna change that. So we could just change that to project proposal, generation, save automation. Let's go here. I just quickly created another for Elevate Services. I'll just put them back to backlog. Select proposal. I've included some simple data here and I've just used test for the introduction and scope. Now we'll just wait for this to load and we're going to refresh the page. And once that has refreshed, we can see that a document has been generated. If we open it, we can see that dynamic data has come through, this time Elevate Surface, not Acme Co, and those test, test, the estimated delivery day, which we have linked from projects and project types. If we just see there, we've got those 10 days. Perfect. But you can also, rather than just directly generate a doc in that step, if we jump back into automations, we can take it further and also send the generated doc to a team member and ask them to review it before sending it to the client. Or if you want to skip that step, you can directly connect your smart suite to your Gmail and send an email. You just need to connect your account and follow the same steps for including or attaching the file that we did within the update record step. Well, that was super simple, right? But what if you want to use your Google Drive to manage your documents? Well, within the smart suite solution, again, we can select our top drop down and then select this time integrations. This will show you what apps you can connect easily with SmartSuite. Well, notice that we have the ability to easily connect our Google Drive, think Google Docs, Google Sheets, and we also have the ability to connect our OneDrive. Now, currently, these are supported as native apps. I'm just trying to find Dropbox here. Yep, we're also able to include Dropbox. You'll notice above those in the right corner, the native. That signifies that they are natively integrated with SmartSuite. So let's jump back into the actual grid view and look at how we can connect to these. We'll select automations. And from here, we're going to add a new automation. We've just got that project proposal there. Let's look at creating something so that when a record this time, we'll just go is created in projects. Now here we have those integrations. Perhaps we want to upload a file to Google Drive or perhaps we want to update our Google Sheet. Now. Notice that these are quite limited. The Google Drive functionality only allows us to upload a file. And while we do have some other availabilities, we really can't do much. That is when we will need to look at using an automation tool like Zapier or Make. 
It's super easy for us to generate documents, folders, spreadsheets within our Google Workspace or in your OneDrive or Dropbox when an action occurs in SmartSuite. Here I am in the Zapier dashboard and we'll just quickly look at creating a Zap, which is an automated workflow. Super simple. You can actually lean on AI and ask it to create an automated workflow so that when a smart suite record is created, create a Google doc from template. And we'll search for that. We can see that Zappy is working its magic. And in any second, it'll give us a templatized version of an automated workflow. Smart suite, updated record, Google docs, create doc from template. All we need to do is add these steps to our Zap or automated workflow, and then just select our accounts. Once you've connected your smart suite account, just continue, select the solution that you'd like to use. For me, that's going to be the client tracker solution, the table. We remember that's projects we'll use and we'll continue. Then we can test this trigger and it'll pull through some data, waiting for that to come through. And it's jumped onto the next step, Google Doc. So from there, we'll be able to, again, ensure that you're connected correctly, continue you'll be able to select the template document. Here I've got video brief and script. You'll want to select your proposal. And then again, it's a simple process of just mapping over the fields. I'll just quickly show you what I mean here. I've got the welcome packet I'll select and that'll load and actually pull in some placeholders. Here we've got company, client name, sales. So what I can do is then pull in, let's go with the company pull in the data from my smart suite record. Here we've got Acme Co and so on. If I just quickly jump into that Google doc, we can see here that we've added placeholders, company, client name, sales, that are pulled in directly into Zapier and allow us to quickly update and dynamically generate a project proposal through Google docs. This process is the same process you would follow for Dropbox, OneDrive and other dams. If you need help automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.